The EPA is working to make a visible difference in tribal communities by forming the Northwest Tribal Asthma Team. Even though anyone can get asthma, we know that rates are higher than average in tribal communities. The science on asthma is very clear. People with asthma have more asthma attacks and feel sicker when they're exposed to things like wood smoke, mold and moisture issues, or don't have ventilation in their homes. One approach that we know is effective is to create a community support network of health clinic staff, environmental professionals, and housing specialists. Emma Medicine White Crow is a really strong partner of ours on asthma work in the Northwest. She's a local leader who really works hard to um, help tribes and communities in general address hard public health issues including asthma. I've had asthma for 20 years. My five-year-old has asthma, my, my son Lucan. Lucan's like a, a typical five-year-old. Uh, he, he wants to run, he wants to jump, he wants to play, he wants to be outside, but that means he has to take his inhaler. Environmental staff from tribal communities can help families figure out ways to make changes in their homes that can help to improve their health. How do you feel when you get asthma? Do you cough a lot? Yeah. Yes? It's not fun, is it? No. Do you like missing school? No. The other thing I've seen, unfortunately, are some homes that are impacted by mold. There are a lot of issues in relation to the mold issue in our developments on the reservation. The people that live in these homes, it's just start from the little ones on up, from the babies on up to the elders, they have some kind of asthma. Dean Henry works with the Tulalip tribes in the health and safety program, faces asthma in his own life. This is huge. We have over 3,500 members, but I understand that have some kind of COPD or some type of asthma in these homes. And that's, they've been breathing this stuff for years. You know, once we became aware of the mold issues in our homes, whether it be inside the home or underneath the home, the wood rot, all the telltale signs that you have a mold issue, it became uh, a task that was not just one department, but a number of our people coming together. A really unique role that EPA has is to be able to convene partners around environmental health issues. We can work directly with tribes on a government-to-government -government basis to help them address some of the really hard issues that they're facing. We're being proactive. I've seen uh, a lot of creative efforts and I, more importantly I've seen uh, Indian Country willing to work with potential partners. I really hope that we can highlight the collaboration and we can highlight the opportunity because uh, uh, we have to find our solutions. This is why I, I do what I do, because this is our future, and this is the future of Indian Country. Because of the health conditions of our people, we need the funding. If it was possible today to find any monies are available for this issue, I'm sure we're not the only tribe. If we lose one of those children because they couldn't breathe right, then where do we sit? As a, as a, as a tribal leader, we need to put that up on the top. When we want to protect our young, our kids, and our elders, the most vulnerable population, it, it asks us, no, it demands that we go into immediate action, work with EPA, work with HUD, work with all entities as well to resolve this so that we can safeguard the health of our people. I hate to have any kid suffer like I suffer. I mean, you live on, I live on sprays, I live on pills, Tribes and other partners are working together to help create, fund, and sustain these community networks to address asthma in tribal communities now and for future generations.